Welcome to Black and White Audits. We're up here at the Eight Acres Hotel again. Um, last time I came up here there was security and no residents, so we're going to see if we've got um, overseas friends, you know, some home office guests, or if this is switched back to uh, a regular hotel. Um, basically just have a chat to whoever we can find really. Uh, we went anti-clockwise last time, so we'll go clockwise this time. Oh, shoelace. There we go. Oh, sorry, it's got my shoelaces tied. Safety first, guys. Last thing I want is to look like a plonker falling on my face and I want to unod it. Bunny rabbit. This place has always had loads of rabbits. Even when I worked here, which was 2006? 2000, Jesus Christ. 17 years ago. Oh, someone's drying their shoes out in the windowsill. Careful. Looks like it might rain. We'll get some bikes. Not many. Not as many as the English ones. Hello, hello. We have people as well. Uh, looks like office space to me. Oh, we'll come to a dead end around here. But yeah, um. As with DJE, I'm wondering where the bikes actually come from, ultimately. Hello? You come? Come? Close to the general public. Huh. Oh. No? No one's coming. I just saw the security guard that I was speaking to last time I was here. Really nice guy. Um, he won't be um, getting all flustered, coming out with steam coming out of his ears or anything like that. He's probably like the most laid-back security guy I've ever met in my life, actually. Do a 360. Tinny, naughty. So that looks like a breakfast lounge. See, I did work here. I never worked here for long, but I, uh, I don't know the actual layout of the hotel at all. I just know how to get back door of the kitchen. Haircuts. Getting haircuts. Wonder if they've just been handed a pair of clippers and they're left their own devices or someone's been called in. Yeah, a bunch of stuff going out. I wonder how long they plan on using it for home office guests. So obviously we'll have to go back to some form of normality at some point. People need hotels at some point. Unless we're just on the perpetual decline of Western civilization, where we're being forced from the top down into a Soviet-style era, while the East and the South just kind of... Hello! How's it going? Sorry? No, no, I'm just having a look around the, the hotel. No, no. Okay. I live in Alga S. Yeah, I'm I'm from the local area. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I was um trying to see if anyone would want to come out and speak to me. I was just want to see how the food is, how they've been treated, if they enjoy it here, okay. stuff like that. But the guy didn't want to come out, so I just kept on walking. Okay, you want to uh, uh, talk to someone uh, living in the hotel? Yeah, yeah. Just one minute. I will ask from my. That's cool. But it's cool if okay if they don't. 
you know. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. I mean, I got that in England. <laughs> yes, I will just go and find someone to speak to you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, personal use, social media, anything I want really. Hi. I'm gonna have a cheeky little look in their bins because um Having worked in the catering industry, it just <laughs> fine. Yeah, sometimes people can just chuck things in bins, no bag, open bags, fucking mixed, shite, fucked up, everything. It's a kind of curiosity of mine to just kind of look in the bin, see if it's kind of all same same or if not. But hey, even DJ likes his rummage around skips. I never came this way last time. This is so peaceful. Oh, well, there's our broken treadmill, so I must have walked right past it. That's the swimming pool and jacuzzi. Um, swimming pool's empty. That's getting fixed. Or demolished, I don't know. But it doesn't look like they've got use or access to the swimming facilities not saying it's a good thing or a bad thing um, I mean there's always that little bit of resentment from people paying the taxes and then kind of not seeing it and seeing it being spent on things they're, it's probably not at the top of their list for their own children and way of life and all that well, this place gets another path. Um, I thought I was going to get a bit of hassle both times there, um, but I didn't. Sound. And the one resident that I seen there, uh, he seemed friendly enough. This one there. Oh, Let's go and catch up with him and see if he likes it here. Hello, my friend. You like here? It's good. It's good food. You, you like it here? It's good food. Uh, what do you mean? You like the food? Sleep? It's a nice place. Uh, why are you asking? Who are you? You stay here. Who are you? Me? I just live in, in this local town. Why are you recording? Oh, for social media. Aye, okay, yeah. I was just speaking to the security around the other side. Uh, no comment, no comment. No comment? Do you like it here, yeah? No comment, bro, no comment. No Sorry. comment? Sorry. Why not? Sorry. You're supposed to be coming into our communities, yeah? Huh? Hi. Brother, actually, in the hotel premises, yeah? no uh, outsiders are not allowed it. So yeah, but this is Scotland. No, no. Just uh, just because of security issues, oh. because it's uh, refugees are living here. Yeah, they're just because of that. Uh, yeah, you can't just come into the town and make like a whole area like off limits. No, no, in uh, Scotland, we can go on private property. Brother, I'm yeah. not saying that thing, I, yeah. uh, but because of these uh, refugees. Yeah. We are. But say in a year, two years, they're going to be living in our community. Yeah. So I can't just speak to them. Not, uh, you want to speak them? I, I just I, I just spoke to them. He didn't want to speak, but. That's but fine. If he doesn't want to, that's fine. Uh, they are not. Uh, if you are want to speak them, I can ask from the management. But uh, you are not allowed it in the uh, hotel premises. No, I am. I am. In Scotland, this. Brother, I am not saying about Scotland, but it's like uh, in, the law. The law in Scotland is that I have to be depriving use of use of land. I'm not going to make your life hard, you no, know. No, it's, it's not. It's my duty, uh, just because of that. Uh, yeah, but it cannot be your duty to keep anyone on here off. It cannot. It's impossible no, because. I'm not saying. Yeah. Is, uh, but that cannot be your duty. No one could say to you, "Keep everyone off," because that's impossible in Scotland. In England, private property, get them off. Done. 
sorted, yeah? But in Scotland, it's like, you're allowed to be here unless you're breaking the law, which you're not. It's got Air Max 270s. I prefer the Jordan Mars 270s. Proper shoe, proper toe box. They're more like a running shoe than Mars uh, Air Max 270s. I've got my Max Aura 3s on. Pretty beaten and old now. Come for 40 quid on eBay. Bargain. Well, you know what? He was really kind. He's one of those like really understand and empathetic Indian men. Well, I don't know if he's Indian, but Pan, Desi, you know what I mean. I don't like saying Asian. It confuses things. Asian to me is like sweet and sour, you know what I mean? Right. Only like 11 minutes, I mean, there's still time. How are you, brother? Salam alaikum, my brother. How are you? You like the, the weather? This is too cold? <laughs> oh, a little bit, you can speak a little bit. Come on. And this a little bit. How are you liking it here? It's nice? They treat you okay? Not a lot. You like to go out, explore? Export, uh, you like to go around and like just have a look at the town? No. Huh? Some problem. Where? No problems here. This is a very small town, there's no problems. Brother. Yeah? Sorry to say that. Sorry? I'm saying who, who are you? I live in, in this town. Local. Why are you recording? Social media. You shouldn't be recording on site here. Says who? You need to come off site. No, you can't do that in Scotland. I yeah, I can, we can. We can, we just call the police. Yeah, no, the police can't do it. I can use re reasonable force on the police if can they try to. Can you start recording now, please, as well? You can record me as much as you want to, but you've been asked to stop recording. You're not married to uh, that frog? No, I'm not. No? Alright, sorry. So, can you come off the property then, please? No. Right. I'm here to talk to anyone that wants to talk to me, and I've not been refused by... A, a, what says who? What? Is there a law in place that I'm not aware of? So my friends, how do you find this town? Peaceful, yes? Quiet? Nice, quiet, peaceful town? I come here in peace, my brother. We're all the same, yeah? How are you? I can not speak English. I can uh, Pashto. What's that mean? I, I can speak Pashto. What problem? No problem. No, no, no problem. No, I'm here in peace. I come say hello. You like this town? You're thinking of coming here, yes? Well, they don't have to go inside, they can come out fresh air. See, I find that really suspicious. You know what I mean? Well, 15 minutes. I'll have to do some pausing soon. See, I don't understand. It's, he says he was going to speak to... I thought that security guard had spoken to them guys and they'd came out wanting to speak. But they just kind of hovered and I approached and then it was like a bit standoffish. 
And that first guy, he says, I don't speak English really, really well. I mean, it's not broken, it's, I don't speak English. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Ominous music. <laughs> uh, it's probably not for a bomb. Probably not. Right. Trophy cups lying everywhere though. There. Yeah, we're gonna do a quick litter pick, I think. Yay. I said I was gonna do a litter pick in one of my uh, one of my poles. I've not been around to doing it yet. I was gonna be doing it with my son, because he loves his litter picks. He just gets sheer joy out of cleaning litter up. Good on him. Too old for this bending down thing. But yeah, I think my daughter would be pretty pissed off if I started dragging her along to litter picks every time I had the kids. So I think it'll be just a me and him thing. I can't really figure out when that's going to be. Is this a sign of things to come? I mean, I was no angel when I was a kid, you know what I mean? But surely, when you come to somewhere seeking refuge, you would, like, even when I went to holiday in Nepal, you know what I mean? Everywhere you go, you could try and leave, like, the least impact you can, especially when we're climbing the mountains. I mean, I don't want to see like litter all the way up the fucking mountain. Get in there with the cups. Got about as many as I'm gonna find. Right, I'm gonna make my way off because I think we've been here long enough. Bye bye. Yeah, that's what it is. Damn, Here's another cup. Oh, I'm sure they'll get the point and pick it up themselves. Anyway. Uh, Much to the contrary of popular belief, I am not a Nazi. Um, the local Facebook kind of news site painted me as a Nazi after the whole protest, counter-protest thing uptown in Elgin. Um, I find it pretty funny. I've been offered a promotion since then at my work and can't help think maybe this is just a small white town, you know? <laughs> no. Culture. It's all about culture, guys. British common law culture is it's a gift to the world. You know what I mean, that's easy to say when you come from Britain, but it was the UK Navy that, you know, the Royal Navy that um, sailed the high seas and stopped the legalised slave trade. I mean, there's a lot more to it than that, but British common law culture is a very unique thing. I don't want it to just become a piece of land, like a 
generic economic zone where people live and go to the shops. You know, that's kind of what we're moving towards. You know, I don't really have much of a connection to the land. My name's Welsh, English by blood. I was born in Scotland. You know, I, I, when people say you're Scottish, I'll always say I was born here. But I'm English and Welsh mostly by ancestry. Um, I just feel like we're moving into an era where people are going to come over here and feel like they've naturalised within one generation, still speaking a really strong dialect, maybe even their native language. You know, that, while that sounds all nice and accepting, when that comes into your community, you know, and you can actually count how many doors it is before the next English speaking person, you know, people become fragmented, atomised. I feel like the next person along isn't like singing off the same hymn sheet and I feel like that's where society's going it's nothing to do with race or hatred, bigotry, xenophobia nothing like that <sighs> I just feel like I feel like the elite of the world have decided that freedom was a bad idea and we're reverting back to a dominance hierarchy system where slavery could well be a thing again. Uh, well, run over, black and white, over.